Welcome guys! So today we're gonna start working on a new top idea. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do, so... I use my Procreate app to kind of count the stitches. So I'm going to make like a tube top. I think that's the name of it. So I already did some math. And so it is 34 chains, the heart, by 53 rows. So 53 rows is going to be kind of long. So I think it might be um, where your boobs start all the way to past your belly, actually, because it's pretty long. I also count my bust. I measure my bust with a measuring tape. So, and it's 37 inches. So what I did is I measured my bust 37 inches, then I subtracted six inches for the back. So I can use the strap to go side to side for closing. And then what I did is I crocheted a hundred chains and then I stretched it on the tape measure to see if it goes, gives me the 31, which it did. So measure your bust first, guys. Then subtract, you know, how many inches you want off for your closing on the back. I did just six inches. And then make a chain as long as that measurement. So mine was 100 chain. Then what I did is I subtracted 100 chain, which is what my bust measurement was, minus 34, which is we know this is the heart, is 34. Chains at the bottom, which gave me 66, divided by two is 33. So we're gonna crochet 33 chains in the green. Then we're gonna start working on the heart and then we're gonna have 33 chains again. Just kind of how we did all our other graphs. So let's get started. I'm super excited for this one. I think it'll be really fun. Since Eli and I don't have a TV in our room, we decided to bring the mattress out to the living room. Yes, there are many studies that talk about sleeping with TV is bad, not good for your health and more. But I just had to see Love, Death and Robot Season 2. For day 2, I started my morning like any other with some coffee. And I changed up the scenery a little bit. Hi guys, welcome to day 2. This is how far I've got yesterday. And so let's keep going. It's currently 8.12. So let's see how much we can get done. I think I can get done the whole top today. So we'll see. I hope so. Big tip, make sure you untangle your yarn and put it in the right order before starting the next row. Just like this. Okay guys, just want to do a little review. It is 4.25 and I am finished with the heart. It looks awesome. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do. So at first I was gonna do a tube top. Now I'm thinking like, should I come from behind? So I'm gonna play around with it and see what I make out of this, but I'm a little nervous because it is really wide. I mean, it's perfect to go around my, um, my bust and stuff, but still, what should I make this into? We'll see. So I got the mannequin because I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do so I thought that would be like a kind of I don't know a way to help me so I still haven't cut off the yarn because in case I need to do a side or something like that so at first I was thinking I can do a top like this wrap it around and then make um, some holes on the back not all the way down and then have a string but now I'm just like I don't know if that would be good so let's play around with some ideas, use your stitch markers if you have some, and um, see if we come up with anything good. Okay, I was also gonna do straps going up and then ending right at the bottom right here. I mean, in the back, sorry. On uh, the last chain on the back and then I would do the boxes. So today I wanted to figure out what I'm gonna do with the top. I actually wasn't sure, so I called my friend and she didn't pick up. So I, I did some drawing. So I'm thinking maybe have straps in the front and then the back could be lace. And so I started doing that, so let me show you real quick. 
Here's the first strap. I just did it of single crochet and it's 48 rows, I wanna say. Um, and so I started a second strap. So it's gonna be like that. And then I already did the boxes, not all the way down because I want this to be flowy. So I'm really gonna enjoy the back piece because it's gonna be sort of open. You're just gonna have the back 200 chain strap going back and forth. And I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes, um, nine boxes to go through this, uh, this strap. And so the rest is all flowy. I think this would look great with jeans. It does not look good now, but I think with jeans, it would look great. So let's keep going and then see how, how it ends up. Okay, so I finished the top. And um, now I realize I um, hit all the ends, sorry, brain fart. And I made a 200 chain, but look how short it is. I still have a couple chains. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna make it 300 and then tomorrow I'll take some pictures outside. I'm pretty excited to show, to see how this looks on. A little bit nervous, but this is my first kind of, I guess summer top making it. Well, I guess I did make the Pink Panther. But this is my first time making a big, long summer top like this. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the final photo shoot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. So I tried this on and I even took some pictures, posted on Instagram. But if you notice, if you go to my Instagram, I'll post it right there. That the strap, one of the straps, I think on the, on the left is a little bit off. So it's not equally and the chain in the back is short. So I'm going to remake the strap on one side and retake some photos and then we should be done. even because this one was way over here um, and so now finally we even that out so now let's make the chain in the back and then we'll be done